What's going on guys? My name is Tuck. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to part 8 of my Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Let's Play of the campaign. Today I think we're going to be doing the last side mission and the next episode will be the final episode of the entire series or so it looks like whenever I look at the bulletin board which is being covered by a pause menu right now. Um, if you guys want to see all the dialogue from the Cuba briefing, check the top right corner right above me. There will be a link to the last episode because I talked to everybody in episode 7. And as always, I have to do 10 face smashes, so let's get that out of the way right now too. Alright, now that's out of the way, I'm going to ask you guys to leave a like, leave a comment on how you think this is going to go, leave a like on how you think it's been going, tell me if there's anything I can do better, and I'm always going to ask for subscribes because that's what YouTubers do, hit that bell, always be notified of when I post because the subscriber box, the subscriber box, rather, doesn't work. Okay, so like, I've been sitting here with my pen and notepad for the past... 20 minutes trying to decipher this. I don't think it's as hard as I'm making it out to be or as hard as it seems. There's just something not clicking and I don't understand what it is. Like if I go into... Where's my controller? It's on my lap. If I go into this... Okay, no, no, no. Let's start from the first one. Or my controller can not work because I'm not on my screen. So if I come here... I got Seattle because the letters that light up, they're... E T S L T A. If you rearrange those letters, that's Seattle. So, and if you come to Seattle, the numbers are zero seven five nine. Then if you come here, the numbers are increasing. The red numbers are increasing by seven. So, if you add seven to sixty one, that's sixty eight. Sixty eight plus seven is seventy five. Seventy five plus seven is eighty two. Eighty two plus seven is eighty nine. So, by that logic, I just went back to the numbers list. The only city that has a 6 and an 8 is the first number is Washington, so 64 would be the corresponding number to this if I go back to the blue. Now, why is it that? Because 63 plus 1 is 64, 64 plus 2 is 66, 66 plus 3 is 69, 69 plus 4 is 73. That's the pattern that one's going with. So, the numbers I have are... The cities and numbers I have are Seattle 0759 and then Washington 6864. So, with that knowledge that I have Seattle and Washington, the corresponding numbers on that red and blue thing were 6864. So, let's enter that. Then the passphrase should be Seattle. I say should be. Authenticate, yes. Access denied. Now, why is that? Like I said, there's just, there's something I'm missing, and I don't understand what it would be. Hell yeah. That's it. You did it, Bell. Oh, I just we 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 had the numbers backwards? Off. What did the numbers mean? That was way harder than needed to be. And part of it was mainly just because I was putting the numbers in backwards. Because I guess I misunderstood what it was asking for. Whatever, we got it. Everyone's numbers are probably different. Because I'm assuming it's a random number generator and fucking puzzle that everyone gets. I don't fucking know, dude. That's whack. We decrypted the fucking floppy disk. So what does that do now? If I go back to... This. Does this change now? Nope, that's still the same. I don't know why. Okay, so that's decrypted. And then that's just a list of names. So can I launch the mission now? All right, I guess I'm launching the mission. All right, I'll let Mason and Woods know that we're ready. They'll be handling this one. Our source tells us that Aldrich is about to move south across Colorado and into northern New Mexico. That's where we're intercepting his convoy. We can't let a former CIA operative run a Perseus spy factory. Let's put this asshole six feet under.
Is there any more dialogue? Or is this just gonna play music? I guess it was just gonna play music. Aldrich betrayed the CIA. Betrayed the whole fucking country. Phoenix 2-4, this is Phoenix 2-1. 30 seconds out. We're up, Mason. Locked and loaded. I hope this isn't too loud, because the last few episodes I've had had really low audio, because I never changed it back from when I went back to multiplayer, because in multiplayer, my audio is pretty low, because whenever I make multiplayer videos, the, the game sound doesn't really matter. I'd rather you guys hear my voice than the game sound, but hopefully it's not too loud, otherwise I'll have to fix it in post, which... It's whatever, but it would be nice not have to do that. Let's go! All right, bro, let's go. Frank, there's a guy right beside you. Don't want to alarm you, though, bro. I've been playing this entire game on veteran. This seems like. What? What's my secondary? I have a fucking shotgun. Of course it is. Worthless piece of fucking weaponry. What'd you have, bro? You had an RPD, what about you? MP5? Whatever, give me this and I'll get rid of the shotgun. How do you want me to get around the other side, bro? You want me to take the high ground? Or like... This high ground. That guy's fearless. Get ammo? I can't open the fucking thing? Got it. There was a guy just here. Give me this AK, bro. Like, give me the... What is that? XM4? Actually, give me that. There is so much happening. Wow, Woods is actually killing people? What a concept. I lied, he's not killing anybody. Oh my god, Woods, you fucking moron. Holy hell, dude. These guys are fucking beaming today. Oh man, I'm trying to get up these stairs before I go to the fucking motel. Holy shit. Woods, brother, you're gonna have to fucking stop yelling orders at me if you're not gonna do anything to help. Woods, that is Woods. I was gonna say, wouldn't surprise me if that was like an enemy because Woods doesn't do anything. However, uh, Let's see what's going on. Salting uphill is always fun. This is like that one mission from, uh... Is it Black Ops 2? Is it the flashback mission? Like, honestly, it's nothing like it other than there's a motel. This might be the same asset motel from that. I doubt it is, because that was so long ago. Was it Black Ops 2, where you went back in time and you got Noriega? I think it was BO2.
Also, this hotel is way too nice for this town, bro. I'm already up here, bro. The fucking hit reg is so bad. Did I do it? Can I go out of slow motion? He's finished. Mason, let's get a picture of Aldrich. Dude, they just went into this hotel room. Would there be this much stuff here? For the traitor section. You know, the shitty part. <laughs> Got the photo. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Would there not be like I don't know. Oh, there goes the helicopter. So how were they hiding all these Soviet soldiers? Or mercenaries or whoever the hell they are? Where were they hiding these people? Did they rent out the entire motel? Like, is this entire town owned by the fucking Soviet Union? Would the people that run this motel not think it's suspicious, like, all these people? You're just moving in with giant duffel bags and military vehicles? That kind of don't speak English? Because none of these guys are speaking English unless I'm just high. That guy just died. Top of that gas station? Why would the top of the hill not be it? The top, I feel like the place we've already cleared out here in the parking lot would be a lot safer than the top of that gas station. But I guess this is this game's version of heat from Modern Warfare and we have to get back down to the place we just came from. Probably gonna die. Still no idea where Woods is either. Yeah, okay. Yeah, bro, that sounds great in theory. Have you tried helping me with the amount of enemies? Trying to see if I can get an angle under that car? The answer is no. I'm gonna die. Probably gonna die. That's Woods. Probably should've just failed the mission for friendly fire. Well, that ladder looks pretty convenient. Yeah, dog, there's no chance. That was my plan, dog. How about we use the minigun? Like, I'm no... I'm not a military expert. I've never been in the military. But to me, it just makes sense that with a QRF, a quick response force... QRT, QRF, whatever you want to fucking call it. It just makes sense to me that there would be more than the pilot on the helicopter. Like, I don't know. Maybe there'd be someone on those miniguns helping us get to the exfil. But whatever. The video game, that was a terrible mission. The puzzle for that mission was entirely too hard for the actual mission itself. I think that's it though. I'll talk to you guys next episode. Should be the final mission. Because I'm not entirely sure if the side missions in this actually impact the main set the main storyline. I think they're just there. They're kinda of boring. The puzzles are interesting, they don't make a lot of sense, but they're there. I don't know. So much weird shit with this game I just don't quite get. But whatever. Talk to you guys next episode. Peace.